Hi guys, have you ever built a backend that works perfectly? Everything is okay, but guess what? The front end design really, really sucks. I mean, it looks like something from the 1990s. But don't worry, you don't need to be a design expert to fix that because in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a very pretty HTML template and connect it to your backend website so that your website will not only work great, but also look very much professional. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get into it. On my screen, you can see I have not so beautiful of a website, but right here, you can see it's just a very short page here, but technically this website really looks good on the back end but you can see the front end really looks like something from the 1990s okay very very much very very basic no much effort on the design and whatsoever so i really do not like the front end template for this script right here meanwhile this is a, a crypto investment website but i really do not like the template for the front end so i've already installed this script if you want to see the back end of this script and how to install the script i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video and somewhere around your screen right now i'm going to tag the video so you can just go and uh, take a look at it but right now i am not really a fan of this template that this script comes with so i've searched online I've seen a lot of HTML templates, which I really, really like, and I would like to, you know, use them for my website. So all I needed to do is just grab the, the HTML templates in any way, right? But for this video right here, I just used the HTTrack website copier and cloned the HTML template, which I'm also going to use it right here to connect the template to this backend website. The only thing I will be needing from this backend right here is the login and uh, the sign up forms and from there i will also be needing the dashboard okay so at the end of the day this website will be working with the front end which i will introduce to it and also the login page and the sign up page and also the dashboard from the back end let's get into it now i'll go straight to my cpanel i got the cpanel from hostgrid by the way if you purchase from hostgrid you can use the coupon code in the description of this video and get a 10 percent discount so let's go straight to the video now i head straight to my cpanel right here and i'm gonna go straight to the file manager so i already copied the html template which i want to use and i'm just going to go straight and show you how to do this okay so if you want to learn how to copy a html template with the HT track website copy here i'm gonna leave the video in the description of this video so you can just go straight to the video and you can see how you can copy or clone a html template and here i'll go straight to the public underscore html and here you can see i have the files for the backend website which i just installed right here okay so these are the files and uh, what i'm gonna do is to create a new folder i'm gonna create a new folder real quick i'm gonna call it something like app okay so i just you can call it anything you wish to call it but for this video i'm gonna call it app so i hit create the folder and here you can see the folder which i just created right now the app folder what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the items for the backend website right here into the app folder. Now, when I end up importing my front end HTML template, I'm going to link the sign up and the registration buttons in the HTML template to the sign up pages for the backend pages, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm just going to uh, click on select all and uh, I can unselect the app folder right here and I click on move. So here I'm just going to move it into the app folder and i click on move files now we are good from the public underscore html we only have the app folder right now okay so i'm gonna go ahead and upload my html template so i click on upload and uh, let me just go ahead and drag and drop my html template And when you're done uploading, make sure you leave the bar to turn green for it to, you know, process completely. And I'm going to click on go back. And here I have my HTML template and I have the app directory, which um, houses all my backend files. So let's just uh, go ahead and extract the zip file right here. So I extract that and I click on close. Of course, I can do away with, with the zip file right here. So let me just go ahead and delete it. And uh, let me just go ahead and open up the file which I just extracted from the zip file. All these files are for my HTML template. So I'm just going to click on select or I want to move it back to the public underscore HTML. As you can see the current directory right here. Okay. So I'm going to highlight all and click on move. And then I'm going to remove all these items right here. And I click on move files. 
okay right now this directory is currently empty i'm gonna move up one level to head back to the public underscore html and here i can just go ahead and delete this folder because right now it's very much empty so i click on delete and of course permanently and yes i delete that so uh, here we can now have all the items for our HTML template and inside the app folder we now have all the items for the backend. So it's now very much easy if we head to the website, let's just head to the website and I'm just going to reload. So you can see I have the HTML file here and uh, it's already loading up on our website. So what we're not trying to do is to connect all the login buttons to get started right here. This one, uh, the sign up, the login, all these buttons that leads to the backend. We're going to connect them to the backend. Okay, so let me just open another tab. Of course, let me just copy the domain name, open another tab right here. And then here I'm going to go to the slash app. Okay. And over here, you can see we have our back end and here we have the front end, right? So um, now I'm going to just uh, make sure I copy the login link and also the registration link right here. So I need this link here and I also need this link here to link to my HTML template. First, let's start with the login. Okay, so I right click on the login and you can click on the copy link address. Okay, so when I click on copy link address, I'm going to go back to the file manager. And now let's go and uh, edit the index.html, which is obviously the home page. Okay, so when I right click on the index.html and I click on edit and edit again, and here we have the HTML file. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is to press the control, control F. So the control F shortcut key brings up this find and replace right there. So I'm just going to type in login since on our HTML template, we have this as login, right? We have the login right so you want to make sure you search for the direct terms that they have on the html template okay so i search for the login and uh, let me go back and you can see we have five instances of the login where it appears on this page which is the home page okay so if you click on next next you can always see all of them and their respective links right so let's just go to the first one and here is the first one right here okay so it's very much simple now from the href attribute right here you're gonna want to enter the link that you just copied from the back end let's just go ahead and remove the hash sign and i'm gonna paste in the link which i copied you can see the link right here make sure you don't get confused okay you want to paste the link just in between the two quotes okay I mean the double quote right now let's just do this for the first one and let's hit save changes uh we're gonna test this for the first one if it works we're gonna go ahead and duplicate it to the rest of the login pages and now we have the changes saved i'm gonna go back to the template and i make a quick reload if you are editing the html template you're gonna want to be reloading with the control f5 that will force a hard refresh on the website hit the control f5 and now we have the page refreshed and uh, this right here is the one I changed, which is the first one that appears on the page. So I'm going to click on it. So let's see if it's actually going to refer me to the login page and the backend. And if it does, it's a good job. I'm going to go ahead to duplicate it to the rest of the login buttons. And here you can see that guys. So I've successfully connected the front end link right there to the backend. Okay. So now that this works, I'm going to just go back. Okay. Let me just go back. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect all the sign up to get started, right? So the get started and the sign up uh, leads to the registration page. So let's head over to the backend page right here. And let me quickly copy the link address for the registration uh, menu item. So I right click on that and I click on copy link address. Now let me head back to the index.html file. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and search for the sign up. So I'm not bothered about changing the rest of the login, okay? Because this is just a tutorial and I think I've shown you how to do that just with the first demonstration, okay? So when I search for the sign up and here you can see the sign up. So if I go back to the page, you can see this is the sign up. Okay, so I'm going to head back to the HTML template and then right here where it says the sign up also from the href attributes i'm going to replace the, you can see the default right here is the contact.html it could be a different page or a different link for your own case okay so i'm going to just uh, make sure i copy the entire contact.html which appears right here while excluding the double quote okay make sure you exclude the double quote because uh, without that it's not going to work okay so i'm going to right click on this and uh, paste 
and you can now see the new link for this button so we are just simply assigning a new link to a button and that's just as simple as that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and click save changes and here we have the changes saved let's head back to the website make a quick reload the control f5 and you're gonna to want to make sure anytime you save changes uh, from the back end or from the code you get to the website and you make a quick reload so right here we can see the button so if i have to click on the button right now so let's see if it's actually going to take us to the registration page from the back end and here you can see that guys this is the registration page from the other script the back end script so well let me just go back we have successfully connected this front end to the back end now it's just left for me to edit this design to suit the backend team. So it's just left for me to do that, but I've successfully connected this front end template right here to the back end. So I can now use them seamlessly. So whenever someone hits the sign up, it's going to take them directly to the sign up page and as well as the login as well. So I can go ahead to change all the buttons to direct them to which page I want to direct them on the back end. Uh, for example, the get started you can scroll all the way down. I have some other buttons right here the invest now i'll probably want to link the invest now right here to the login page okay so whenever someone clicks on this they're gonna get linked to the login page okay that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you have any question leave it in the comment section also if you have any video requests make sure you leave it in the comment section and if this is your first time watching my youtube channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification i'll see you in the next one